Hello, welcome back to Compass Surveying Part 2. In this lesson, we will learn how to sight a line using a compass. In this video, we'll be reviewing the equipment needed to obtain the azimuth or sight a new azimuth of a line, how to center and level a compass to a point, and how to observe an azimuth of a line. The equipment we'll be using in this lesson includes the Breton Pocket Transit Compass, an instrument to level the compass, for example, a Jacob's staff or tripod. However, in this lesson, we will be using a lather stake to stabilize the compass and make it easy to move. Other useful equipment will be nails and flagging tape. Centering. Since we will be using the lad to stabilize the compass, it should be set up directly behind the origin point, and a second lad should be set up behind the next station. The two should be lined up to make it easier to sight. Using the lad, we will level the compass until the bubble is centered, as you can see here in this round level. Now you can turn the compass toward your foresight or your next station until the lab, the axial line, and the large sight line up. The azimuth you will record is the degree the north arrow is pointing to. In this example, we are sighting an azimuth of zero degrees. It can be difficult to keep it can be difficult to keep the compass level, make sure the compass is in line, and read the azimuth. Therefore, it is helpful to have a second person to read and record the azimuth. Before continuing to the next lesson, let's review sources of error in an azimuth measurement. Since the compass measurement is based on Earth's magnetic field, we should be careful of external, external magnetic influences. This includes natural influence, like magnetic rocks or iron ores, and man-made, like electrical poles and even personal items like keys or phones. Another source of error is from instrument. This could include defective manufacturing or damage to the compass. For example, the needle could be unbalanced or it could even be stuck. Personal or observation errors could be a source of inaccurate measurement. This includes not leveling the compass correctly or inaccurate, inaccurately recording the azimuth. To prevent these errors, you could make sure that the immediate area is free of local attraction. For example, removing keys and phones from your pockets, trying to avoid serving near electrical poles or areas known with magnetic rocks or iron ores. You could also check the needle to make sure it's horizontal before beginning the survey, and also tap on the screen, or tap on the glass to see if the needle is free. Finally, you can read both ends of the compass to prevent an inaccurate azimuth reading, and if they, you subtract them in the equal to 180 degrees, then your, your measurement could be right. Thank you, and please continue to part three, how to complete a compass traverse.